Smartphones are now an essential part of our life. We start our day with a smartphone and we end the day with it. So clearly, an hour without a smartphone is difficult for most of us. But this electronic gadget that we use every day, is it safe? Let's find out today. Smartphones were always a threat to our eye. But today we are going to look at the reason which most of us don't care about, don't know about. Every smartphone emits radiation which we don't know. What some also don't know is that the emission rate is monitored using a standard called SAR rating. According to this, the radiation emitted by an electronic device is measured in specific absorption rate or SAR values which in turn is measured in watts per kilogram. There is no universal guideline for a safe level of radiation. But still the German initiative called Blue Angel only allows smartphones with SAR rating less than 0.6 watts per kilogram. Now let's see the list of smartphones with the highest radiation emissions. And right at the top we have the Xiaomi Mi A1 leading the pack with the SAR rating of 1.75. And then we have OnePlus 5T, the Huawei Mate 9, P9 Plus, GS8, P9, Nova Plus and another OnePlus device it's a OnePlus 5 and again Huawei's P9 Lite. And we also have two iPhones, the Samsung the recently launched iPhone 8. And one Sony device, if you remember Sony is still there in the game. And we also have the recently launched OnePlus 6 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 and the ZTE Axon Sound Mini. Now, if you watch closely, out of this 15 phones, totally 12 phones are from Chinese OEMs. And 3 phones are from not from China. The Apple, it's the Apple iPhones and the Sony. So does this mean that Chinese OEMs don't care about our health? Now before getting into that, let's see the list of the least radiation emissions. In this list, you will see the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, the last year flagship Note, ending the pack with a rating of 0.17. And then we have the ZTE Axon, Elite, the G7, Google Pixel, Samsung S8 Plus, S7H, LG's Q6, and HTC, we have HTC there. And also we have Samsung A5, S9 Plus, a motor device, two motor devices actually. Then another ZTE, and Samsung and ZTE. Now if you watch closely here, almost 50% that is, we have 6, six devices of Samsung from Samsung so this means that Samsung does care about the radiation values that their smartphones produce. It's no surprise that we have Samsung dominating the least radiation emitting chart. What was a big shock of to me was to see Apple's two devices that is the iPhone 7 and 8 in the highest radiation emitting chart. And so Chinese brands offer much value for a lower price, but that doesn't fade the fact that Samsung devices are priced much higher. That also doesn't mean the smartphones manufactured by Chinese OEMs are dangerous. SAR values nowadays are more of a personal opinion. Radiation started a long time before when we switched to cellular connections. If you want to be secure from radiations, don't use smartphones at all. Even when you don't use smartphones, you are getting affected by radiations. So every smartphone is going to emit radiation and you are going to get radiated but not in a dangerous way but for devices with a higher value like MIA1 if you are a numbers geek and you don't like the 1.75 SAR value then maybe stick with it for an year then switch to another device which maybe with the lower SAR rating this is a simple solution for those who are concerned about SAR values so that's a wrap for the video guys thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and hit the like button peace